Scorpio, hi, it's Lisa here from What's the Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 23rd to the 29th of October 2023. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur, and cross watches are welcome. So hopefully some of you stuck by me. I've been off for a few months. I'm very sorry I haven't been updating the page at all. Um, I had my knee surgery. Still got one trusty companion here by my side, but um, I'm not a very patient patient and it's driven me up the wall. So I'm a bit rusty. This is my first time back for a few months, but we'll get straight into it. Scorpio. Clear messages from Spirit, please, for Scorpio, 23rd to the 29th of October, 2023. Moonology. You get the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. You may have some questions out there for the universe. The answers are on their way, as is a new start. The new moon, a new start is coming. Well... Everything is coming in at the moment here. The answers, a new start. So I feel like some sort of question that you may have had here, you'd finally get some sort of answer out of that and that allows some sort of new beginning to start to take shape and to start to transform and to start to happen and occur. Wow, love that. Just saw a, see what that is. Look at the world under clarifications from the last round. Was stuck in the middle of this other pack and it was the world so Scorpio now is the time to get the answers in order to start something fresh start something new love it okay Scorpio I love when this happens. Overall, the universe. You had the world stuck in the middle of the pack, out of order there. You now have the backing of the universe as well. Divine timing. As we mentioned, now is the time to get those answers. Now is the time to get this new journey underway. You've got the backing of the universe. What is holding you back? I've already labelled a video that um, this week, so I can't double up on that. But I think that was more meant for this reading. What is it that is holding you back? But ultimately, Monday, victory. Starting the week, straight into it. Feel like those answers are here, and you are able to now focus on where to. Tuesday, Prince of Wands. Yep, it's a tough journey. There are ups, there are downs, and there are in-betweens, and there are diversions along the way. This is about having um, the ability to stay on board, to see things through here, to get these answers, but also um, that roller coaster ride. Being able to stay on board with that roller coaster ride, going with the flow there. Wednesday, love this. Seven of Wands, not giving up not quitting sheer persistence here you've got your focus of where you're heading and nothing is going to put you off here you've as i said you finally got these answers the new start is beginning and there's persistence that has, you've stuck to something to get some sort of answers in order to be able to get that new chapter underway Thursday, Five of Swords. Hasn't been easy. I feel like you've been banging your head against a brick wall time and time again here. And this may be that you are walking away from that brick wall and being able to get this new start. The answers you need are coming. It may not be an answer that you want, but in saying that, that brick wall is able to be able, is able to be able, is able to be left back there and you are able to get this new start beginning and to have that victory in that way. Either way, the backing of the universe, persistence, you're not giving up, you're not quitting, maybe not quitting on yourself here, but ultimately victory is yours once you get the answers. 
Friday, I nearly said Saturday, Friday, you get the Eight of Pentacles, hard work, okay, very um, focused, nothing wrong with that at all, dedication, nothing wrong with that at all, but still be aware of what's going on around you here, you know, you've got the backing of the universe, you've got the divine timing that's happening here, but being aware of when that brick wall is enough, you have your answers that you need, whether it's in a negative way, whether it's in a positive way, but ultimately the answers are there and the hard work does start to shift and that new start does begin. New starts, okay, that's by ending some sort of painful chapter here that you've been stuck with. Um, Ten of Swords, taking action to be done with something, someone, somewhere and that's for these answers that you need they are here and you're able to say right that's that got an answer that can be put up on that shelf there and this whole new journey does begin ten of cups to finish sunday emotional happiness stability here um, maybe around love um, an existing relationship maybe somebody brand new but ultimately even if it's around work if it's around home if it's around friendships here there's contentment, there's happiness, it's all falling into place and it makes this whole new journey a lot easier to begin. Now those answers are here. Okay, so Scorpio, let us clarify everything, starting with the universe overall. Um, now is the moment, now is your moment. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you've had to um, jump through a lot of hoops, zigzagging in and out of these obstacles to get through to solid ground here. It's been like walking a bit of a tightrope with a blindfold on, reaching crossroads time and time again that you've had to divert around or um, walk away from, as in that Five of Swords we mentioned. But ultimately, Ten of Swords to Ten of Swords. The painful cycle the painful journey it's complete it's done and you're able to focus now on that new new beginning this is um, again maybe a tough life lesson clarifying the universe here but it's a lesson well learned and um, it's not holding you back monday victory so six of wands you get the hermit the world that keeps popping up and the fall I'll say it. The world is your oyster here. Divine timing. Ready to take a leap of faith here. Three arcanas as well. Very strong energy. Clarifying this victory. And I feel like this whole journey has been put on the back burner while you wait for the answers. But they are here. Might have to shut the door. <laughs> Neighbours, kids. Um, but yeah, you're ready to take a leap of faith here. It's been one tough journey, may have connection to a Virgo, um, doing some soul searching, doing some contemplation to see light at the end of the tunnel, but ultimately that light becomes that full on beam spotlight once you take that first step. And that first step always gets this new journey, a new start underway. Tuesday, Prince of Wands. Oops, Seven of Swords. Three of Wands, Six of Pentacles. Balance, equal give and take. I do always say, and I'll still say it, if you're doing all the giving, someone else is doing all the taking. This is about waking up, um, opening your eyes to see that someone may be doing a lot more taking than a lot more giving here. And this has been able to walk away from some sort of energy that seems to be holding you back, hold, putting your head high, holding your head high and being able to take what works for you on this new journey, on this new start that is happening here, um, but keeping some sort of balance in check, whether it's even within, but um, I feel it's more around some sort of partnership with someone else involved here, that um, that balance needs to be play in place. You need to be well aware that it needs to be in place. Wednesday, Seven of Wands, Justice, King of Wands, Three of Swords. Sweet justice, I always say. May have connection to a Libra. 
Three of Swords is around heartache um, due to a third party energy and that may be around love, around work, around home, maybe the answers that you've needed that are coming here but it doesn't mean you're giving up and feel again not giving up on yourself here, knowing what you want, who you want and where you want to be but also knowing what you will put up with and what you won't put up with here to get your sweet justice. <coughs> neighbor's car's leaving i've got this door open thursday five of swords the lovers four of wands the star may have connection to an aquarius or gemini here soulmate twin flame somebody significant stability commitment maybe a marriage proposal moving in together it may be that you're meeting somebody extremely brand new there is this karmic connection that is happening here it's possibly somebody that you've had your eye on or that you are with that you are destined to be together especially with the world and the universe that's been popping up throughout as well I feel like this is a whole new start by being able to walk away from some sort of previous battle that you've um, been going through this whole new journey does begin um, but it begins with somebody in particular wow I love love I'm a Pisces um, but feel like your dreams are coming true here when it comes to somebody significant Friday eight of Pentacles temperance five of swords you've just come off that and the nine of Pentacles Okay, may have connection to Sagittarius, not forcing the issue, just going with the flow. You don't want to jump from the frying pan into the fire. This is about, again, work, working out whether something um, or someone or somewhere, whether it's worth fighting for here with all the pain or whether it's worth walking away and having that victory and getting things moving in a forward direction that works best for you. Okay, it is all there at your fingertips, success, it's so close you can almost touch it right there. And this again, it's coming back down to Eight of Pentacles, being aware of what the battle is and what it does lead to versus what it leads to if you are able to walk away from that. But that temperance, just going with the flow and not forcing things there. I knew that would happen and I've seen what it is and I have to go and get it but um, bear with me eee, while I move my knees or my knee leg but look at what fell out right there two of cups love as I said out on the Pisces <laughs> and I love love um, but Saturday ten of swords clarified with the two of cups Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. Feel like you've felt like you've been stuck in a rut, possibly when it comes to love. And that could still be an existing relationship. It may be trying to get a new relationship underway here. Um, the new romantic cycle to get that beginning and to be un be able to get these answers here. But this is all about um, as I said, loss, grief, sadness that you may be going through from some sort of previous situation, being burnt. Maybe that's um, holding the process up. That's the whole battle here. But this is about working through things in your own way, in your own time, not, tell, not letting others tell you to hurry up and get on with it. This is about being able to move forward to something more pleasant, something more warmer that works for you and to leave that painful chapter back there in the past. But ultimately, love is here, whether you know it yet or not. And to finish, Sunday, Ten of Cups, and here it is, it's bringing you all the happiness here. You get the Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups. We've also talked throughout with balance here. Now you have the two knights, either side of the queens. Okay, very confident here that um, you do know what you want, who you want, or where you want to be. More so possibly who you want around this Knight of Cups with this offer of love. And again, existing relationship, a new offer. You know, a new start, a new offer. It may be that marriage proposal. It may be um, a pregnancy or a birth. It may be moving in together. But it, again, it may also be somebody extremely brand new that um, has just come into the picture, so to speak. But these two nights either side, you're proud of the emotional journey you've been through and come out on top. And you're now open to where this new start takes you. 
because you are, you have the answers that you need, they are here and that new start can begin. Oops, no. See what the universe says first. I think I did Leo like that and I've left theirs out. So, Scorpio. Losing my voice. Princess of Swords, the full judgment. Again, taken, taking a leap of faith here, but um, feel like you're up for the challenge. You're ready for this. You have the answers. You are ready. You're well and truly ready for this whole new beginning. Judgmental energy coming in towards you to say, no, you're not ready. Trying to put you back here. And this is like not putting up with that. You're ready to take that leap of faith. Get that new start beginning, and I feel like it is about to begin. Okay, now we finish with Star Temple Oracle, Scorpio. It came out quick for just one. You get number 35, the Lapi Lazuli Star, Starlight. My inner vision guides me to my higher purpose. Brilliant. Love that. So always follow that inner vision that intuition that is happening because overall with the universe and the world throughout it's happening for a reason star words insight perception passion the lapi lazuli star inspires personal and spiritual power this energetic vortex reveals inner truth encourages self-awareness and promotes self-confident intuitive expression Oh, my voice. <coughs> the Lapi Lazuli Crystal is known to open the third eye chakra and balance the throat chakra. I think mine needs balancing. <laughs> it stimulates psychic sight and enhances dream recall and interpretation. Wear or place Lapi Lazuli at the throat to amplify clairvoyance and visualization. In collaboration with the third eye, this crystal clarifies psychic and mediumship connection, thus increasing contact with the spirit realm for healing messages. Love that, Scorpio. I'm losing my voice. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching. Um, welcome back. Hopefully you're still watching. And many blessings to all of you. And I will see you next time. See ya. Bye.